In this video, we're going to have a look at complex numbers in loci, and in particular, straight lines on an organ diagram. So in particular, I want to have a look at, to begin with, choose the right pen, argument of z equals, let's say, pi over 4. So this is any complex number. What I want is the locus of all complex numbers that have an argument, pi over 4. So dead easy to go wrong here. So I'm going to make a common mistake. So I'm going to choose pi over 4. So anything with an argument of pi over 4, well, arguments go anti-clockwise. So there we go there. And this common mistake I've made... So indeed here, the argument is pi over 4. However, when I get past this point, the origin, when I get below the axis, the argument's no longer pi over 4. When we get below the x-axis, the angle actually goes clockwise. So the argument here isn't pi over 4. It's pi over 4 plus this pi over 2 here. So 3 quarters pi, negative 3 quarters pi, in fact, is that argument there. Negative 3 quarters pi. So any of this part of the line here is invalid. So now let's do it properly. Let's get rid of that. Delete all those. And try again. So provided I just start at the origin here, and continue the line going up like that then that now is correct and that's why we call it a half line so a full line would be an infinitely long line that goes in both directions a half line basically cuts off at a point so in this case it cuts off at the origin so let's try a different one but now let's change it a little bit let's change the question to the argument of z minus 3 plus i is pi over 4 We'll start where we left off. Let's draw just z, mod, the argument of z is pi over 4. So that's that there. So that's the line, argument of z is pi over 4. So let's mark that on the diagram, pi over 4. And the next bit involves your transformations of functions that you did in year 1, straight maths. So what this is saying, we're going to perform a transformation to z. So the transformation is happening inside the bracket, so it does the opposite of what you, t what you think it's going to do. So it's telling us to take 3 in the real direction and add 1 in the imaginary direction, but we know better. We know that when transformations happen on the inside of a bracket, just like you learned in year 1, single maths, that instead of taking 3 in the real direction, we're going to add 3, we're going to translate it 1 to 3 in the positive real direction, and instead of adding 1 in the imaginary direction, because it's happened inside the bracket, we're going to subtract 1, like that. So what we need to do is label all the key points. So this point here, is 3 take i and just for clarity let's do a dotted line to show what angle we're actually measuring like that so it's a half line that starts at 3 minus i We've taken the half line that starts at the origin, we've translated 3 in the positive real direction and minus 1 in the imaginary direction. And that's basically the theory behind straight lines when it comes to drawing them on the Argan diagram. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.